basically. Okay, well, that makes we sense. Both do. Okay, yeah. I, I believe that. But no, what I was saying was we did have you on again after your initial call, and you were right the second time, too, because you said, look, it's not the way it, it was before. We've had most of the move, yeah. you know, most of the move, and you don't expect it. But I'm just wondering, let, did you, in, let, in your let, wildest let, dreams, did you think the Fed would, would go this you said they, they, they would keep doing things till the economy improved. Did you have any idea they would well, look? Look, I, I, I'm looking at their central forecast. I have it right here. And how long they're going to go for. I don't know if people really look at these numbers behind the numbers. But to get to their central forecast, you're into 2015. Right. Of, this, of this crazy. You mean based on this, the unemployment? Of this, yeah, based on the unemployment. Right. What they said substantially. Subst I, you know, uh, what's his name? Who's the other bald guy that comes on here? This Leisman. Guy Leisman. Yeah. Good looking guy, bald guy. So. Yeah. Um, you know, he said that they didn't have in the statement. They said substantially here. So I kind of viewed that they did have in the statement. They're going to just keep doing this until the employment rate goes down. $85 billion was a lot per month. $85 billion, How much does that add up in a year? Times 12, Joe. Can you do that, Matt? Uh, it's like a trillion. It's a little bit more than a trillion. Yeah, you know, but, I mean, we're doing a trillion. A trillion a year. And that we were worried about a $3 trillion Let me, let me ask you a question. Yeah. So we're going to get into where markets are and what you think about markets. Okay. I wonder, I don't, I wonder so, what you so, think. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going okay. to give you think the same thing. So if you go back, so what do I have now? I have an economy that's improving, right? It's a, it's, it's a good economy. I got tailwinds. But you got lousy employment. I got lousy employment. Yeah, and they're trying to do something with it, right? I got an economy that's, you know, has tailwinds, housing, auto, right? Uh-huh. And, and it's, it's a growing economy. And now I'm going to put a trillion dollars a year by the Fed. A trillion. You know, I was that. What do you say, a billion here, a billion there? Right. Well, guess, yeah, I, I think now we're into a trillion here, a trillion there. Right. So we got a trillion a year this year. Looks like on this tendency, a trillion a year next year. Mm -hmm. Or at least a good part through the year, unless it starts picking up. Maybe it'll pick up faster. I hope it picks up faster. We can talk about what they're going to do in D.C. and how they can help it. And how everybody in this country is tired of the people in D.C. and this BS. This BS, I'm trying to keep it clean this time. Okay. I'm um, going. But look, if I, once, if I was going to go and look at this market... The last time I had this good economy, looking at the United States of America, looking at Abby, uh, the LDP that got elected, and everybody knows that the Japan is going to kind of pump it up, mm -hmm. probably starting in March, April, but they're going to pump it up. An ECB that has given you two different things, and people only read one thing. They gave you the put with the OMT with Spain. Right. But they just gave you a second put that you guys didn't even talk about, which is just amazing. You just missed it. I don't even know what What's the second put? What's the second piece of it, then? The second piece was when they were just this last meeting, mm -hmm. and you had this vote. Right. How did the vote go? You guys know how the vote went for lower interest rates? Aren't we? Do you guys know how the vote? So, can somebody put in their prompter so they can figure out what it is? How did the vote go for, their, how did the vote go for lower interest rates? Uh, I'll tell you how the that vote was went. was unanimous, but the other... It wasn't, no, for yeah. lower interest rates. They did for lower the, interest rates yeah. this time. Okay, what they said, though, if you go back and look at it, every member before voted for lower interest rates. Right. It was majority for lower interest rates. Who didn't vote, vote for lower interest rates? It was Viedman, mm -hmm. you know, he's tough, Bundesbank head. As Asuman, if my pronunciation's wrong, there's no way I'm going to get it right. You know, Pittsburgh people, what are you going to do? And, and this other guy, Draghi, you know him? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and there was a third, fourth guy, um, he's like the technical guy, he begins with a C. So basically, you're in, the, you're in the situation where whenever Draghi wants to lower interest rates in Europe, he can do it. But we haven't understood why they haven't done it to this point. I mean, if he you're hasn't really done it because of technical reasons. They're saying if you go to negative rates, it's a whole issue of whether they can go to negative rates, issue whether they, whether they would. This is, a, this is you, know, you know, I kind of, our feeling is if the euro gets too strong, boom, they do it. If it right, slows down, I, again, that's why boom, I haven't understood why they haven't done it to this point. If you, you want, if you need a lower euro to solve your problems, why don't you do what everybody else is doing? You know, doing? There's, there's the political wrangling that goes on over there, but you do have it in his, any time he wants. It's in his pocket now. Is it just until Angela Merkel's in a better position and it, then they do it? It's in Draghi's hands. Yeah. Okay, theoretically, right? He can do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Okay. That's that part of the a, equation doesn't surprise me. Like, that, that's it doesn't surprise me because I've been waiting for them to do this anyway, just thinking he was waiting yeah, for Merkel to Everybody has been waiting situation. to, but the more important thing about waiting is you know it can happen on a moment's notice. Right. Okay? Because the way the vote's set up. Okay, wasn't well reported. Kind of markets kind of moved a little. You had the euro move. You had the, um, um, the two-year swap over in, uh, in, in, in Europe move, the, the, Bund, the Bundesbank, the, mm -hmm. the, the Deutsche swap, whatever the heck it is over in Germany move. Went from 44 basis points to 31 after the meeting. So that market moved. So you did have some movements in the market, but you guys didn't pick it up. But it's important because it's important because you got these series of puts over in Europe. Mm -hmm. So you got the U.S. going. You got the series of puts in Europe. You have relatively easy money. We expected some tightening at year ends in the markets, but we didn't get it. Right. Okay, I'm talking about bond markets. You see how Spain, Italy traded. So 
we were kind of nervous, but the street kind of is out of paper, so they can't screw it up. 